Hello everybody, it's Jonathan from Musical Matter, and today I'm going to show you how to sample in GarageBand. Okay, so here we have a new project in GarageBand open, and what we'll need to do first is add a MIDI controlled instrument, or a virtual instrument here, which we've already done. Now this is just a piano sound that uh, is set to default. And we don't need that. We need to come down here. If you click on the smart controls and then come down to the software instrument option down here, we click on this and then we will find in AU Instruments, Apple, AU Sampler. This is where we need to go. We click on that and our sampler has now been loaded. If we click on that option down there, the instrument panel will come up and right now it's just got a sine wave set as default. We don't need that but we'll change that in a little bit after we've added our own sample. I'm just going to go in here, click on this panel and add a new audio track. Alright, and we are picking up signal from the microphone. So let's go in and record something. Hello there, subscribe to the channel. Right, that'll work. Fantastic. Now this is a little bit of a workaround, but we need to save this little bit of audio as its own file and export it out of GarageBand and then bring it back in to the sampler. So we're just going to go over here, click up on share, export song to disk. I'll put it on my desktop save it as an AIFF file, click on export. Great, so we've got our audio ready to go. Let's input it back into our sampler. We'll select our sampler again, bring up that instrument window. Now in this window down here, we click on the cog icon, click on add sample. This window will come up and I've saved that audio sample to my desktop. There it is. We'll click on open. And now if we play, Hello there. Subscribe to the channel. Hello there. we have our sample loaded in. However, you'll notice that the sine wave is also playing. Hello there. So let's get rid of that. To do that, we select it in the list and then we just come down to the minus button, click on that and our sample's ready to go. Hello there. Hello there. Hello, hello, hello there. Sub that, in a nutshell, is how you add a sample. But you might have downloaded a sample pack at some point. To use it, it's exactly the same method. Okay, so it's really simple to use GarageBand's built-in sampler. I hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next video. Hello there, subscribe to the channel. Hello there, subscribe to the channel. Hello there, hello there, hello there, subscribe to the channel. Hello there, subscribe to the channel. Hello there, hello there.